Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner, and I'm with the SolidWorks Education Team. In this video, I'll be going over the SolidWorks Simulation Student and Teacher Guides. The SolidWorks Simulation Student and Teacher Guides provide an introduction to some basic principles of analysis and how to perform them using SolidWorks Simulation software. The software is included in the Education Edition as an add-in and is fully integrated into the SolidWorks user interface. There are actually three separate student and teacher guides. The first is a basic introduction to the simulation package and talks about stress and strain. The second and third cover flow and motion analysis. The simulation curriculum covers many concepts covered in basic engineering and design courses, including stress, strain, statics, body dynamics, fluid dynamics, machine design, and material selection. Each of the three curriculums contains both a student and a teacher lesson guide. In addition, they contain a PowerPoint to be used in class. Each lesson is planned out for the instructor, including in-class activities, discussions, projects. All of the required models, including completed models. Lastly, there are five-minute student assessments and solutions for testing a student's knowledge and progress of the lesson. As I said previously, the curriculum is based on three different student and teacher guides. The first one, SolidWorks Simulation, is broken into two lessons. The first lesson covers the basic functionality of the package. The second lesson covers some of the more advanced adaptive methods available within SolidWorks Simulation. The Flow Simulation and Motion Simulation guides both contain only one lesson that covers the basic functionality of the SolidWorks Simulation software. All of these guides are meant to give basic introductions to the motion, flow, and simulation package, and do not cover every single aspect and feature of using the software. I'll now spend a few minutes exploring each of these guides a little more, and take a look at some of the in-class activities and projects available to all the instructors. The first SOLIDWORKS simulation guide focuses on stress analysis. In the first lesson, students will learn all the basic functionality of SOLIDWORKS simulation and how it is used to perform stress analysis on parts and assemblies. Students will use a provided shaft and hub assembly to create a mesh, solve the study, and then view various plots such as stress, displacement, and factor of safety. In the second lesson, students will focus more on some of the adaptive advanced features of SOLIDWORKS simulation. The example part here is a simple plate with a hole in the middle causing a stress concentration. Students will look at the whole plate, as well as just a quarter section, and finally they'll perform an adaptive design study that loops through the simulation several times in order to find the best possible design. Students will also spend part of the lesson using a shell mesh to perform the same analysis. In the motion simulation curriculum, Students will begin by performing a simple animation of a four-bar mechanism using the motion package. The second example is a little more in-depth and will have students use a sliding crank to perform a simple animation but also look at both velocity and acceleration of the parts during the motion simulation. The third instructor and student guide covers SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. Again, this only teaches the basic functionality of the software especially in this case because flow simulation is such a powerful and full featured package. The first example part will have students perform a flow analysis for a valve that has been turned by 30 degrees. The second example part is a simple channel that suddenly expands to a larger cross-sectional area. In both of these examples, students will learn about setting goals and running the study, how to set inlet, outlet, and boundary conditions, as well as various methods of graphing the study and looking at some of the results. That concludes this video overview of the Curriculum for Teaching SOLIDWORKS Simulation Package. The Stress and Motion Simulation curriculums are available in eight languages, while the SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation curriculum is available in two languages. For more information on how you can acquire these and other SOLIDWORKS education curriculums, please visit www.solidworks.com slash education.